Hi kids, Mr. Hayes here with today's tech tip. Today we're going to talk about how to create a bibliography in MLA style using Noodle Tools. Why Noodle Tools? Well, the school has an account, a paid uh, account, which provides a good service to all the CIS students uh, during years 7 to 13. And this tool has some nice features which the librarians would like you to use, and they prefer to use this rather than something like Easy Bib. Now, to create an account, click over here on the sign in button. Now, to create your account, you will need the school ID and password. Now, over here on the, uh, the secondary library website, on the home tab, you can find the school ID and password. If I scroll down to the bottom, there in the citation section, you can see Noodle Tools. A little short blurb on why it's great. And here is the school's general account, login name, and password. Login name is CIS, SEC, LIBE, password is CIS info. Now let's go back to Noodle Tubes, uh, Noodle Tubes, Noodle Tools, and create a personal ID. Now you want an account that's linked to a school. Click on register and enter CIS SEC live and CIS info sign in okay you are a student enter the year that you're going to graduate and pick a ID and password the ID can be the same as your school ID enter your initials here and the last four digits are your phone number or any phone numbers if you like click register now I have an account so I'm not going to create a new account let's go back to the sign in page and I'll log in with my own account. And sign in. Okay, now, Noodle Tools is project based, and you can see I have one project here with two sources. We'll come back to that in a minute. To create your own project, click on Create New Project. Now, this project is going to be uh, the citation style is MLA and the citation level is starter, junior, advanced. For year 7, 8, 9 should be starter or junior. For higher year levels it can be junior or advanced, probably advanced. I'll pick junior for now. And give your project a description. I'm just going to call this C CT test. Create the project. Okay, let's scroll down a bit. I won't cover all the details here, but the one we're interested in is works cited. Click on that. And this list shows the kinds of citation types, books, database, magazine. Uh, let's pick website and create citation. And there's some helpful videos here you can watch, but we're going to skip those and click continue. Okay, the next page has prompts for all the information about the website you're going to cite. Now, I'm not going to go into all these details. If you're not sure how to fill these in, you can look here on the upper right for some quick online help on the, from the MLA guide. And then there's the full guide on Moodle and also on Noodle, tubes, Noodle Tools. <laughs> okay, when you're done entering the fields, click on Submit, and then the citation will be added to your list. Instead of doing that, I'm going to scroll to the top, go back to the Projects page, and open up a project which I've already created. Now, this is the one I just fiddled with, I'm going to select it and just delete it. Oh, can't delete it. Well, I can, but it's behind the recording message. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there for now. Okay, we want to go into this project and scroll down a bit, click on Work Cited, and here you can see I've created two sources. One is a website, one is a book. Now at this point we want to get the list out of well, we want to format the list and then export it to our design folder document. Click on Print Export, and then Print Export to Google Docs. Now, at this point, it's generating a new Google document with the MLA formatted bibliography in it. And that works a little slow. Now, you can see it's still, oh, it's coming. Here it goes. And there is our bibliography in MLA style. 
Now, we want to get that into the design folder. So let's go to the edit menu and let's select all. And then back to the edit menu. Now don't select copy. Select web clipboard, copy selection to web clip clipboard. You get a much more accurate copy paste doing it this way. So now it's in the web clipboard and if we go over to our design folder document in the bibliography section we do another edit web clipboard select the thing we just pasted to the clip or copy to the clipboard and then you can paste it in as rich text or HTML I've tried both it seems to have the same effect and there you go that is it don't get creative here, don't change the styling, don't change anything on this, just leave it the way it is. This is a bibliography in MLA style. And that's it. That's your tech tip for today. See you later, gang.